Hello everyone, this is Nat of Sunday back in and welcome back to Hotel Dust Room 215. We just finished talking and how did I end up in my room already? What time is it? What time is it? No. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Ring! Huh? That looks sexy turning back. <laughs> Except my butt got bigger. It's the phone. Is it Rachel? The phone's ringing. Answer it, man! Huh? Rachel. What now? Hey, sweetie, who's Bradley? What? After you got off the phone with Ed, I heard him talking about himself. Well, muttering is more like more like it. He said something about giving up the search for Bradley. Come on, Kyle. Who's Bradley? Can't talk now. I can't get into it now. Okay, I get it. I won't push you. Thanks. Hey, is Ed there? Put him on, will you? Sorry, sweetie, but he just stepped out. Figures. <laughs> Have him page me when he gets back. Will do. Take care. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Maybe my search for Bradley is a fool's errand. Of course, I don't know what to do if I gave it up. Other than quit this miserable job. But where would you go? Ah, screw it. I'm hungry. I know. That's why I'm moving. Yes, I'll head down to that five-star restaurant and see what they've got. Isn't it if it's for free? I thought I got a meal for free. Oh, who are you? Oh, the father and daughter. Oh, look who's here. Wonder what they're talking about. Elsa! Look at me when I'm speaking to you, young lady. Why would you do that while we're eating? But. But nothing. Dad! Don't dad me. I've had it up to here with your back talk. For once, could you just do as you're told and be quiet? I'm so tired of this and I don't want to hear any more excuses. Go back to the room. I'll be up in a few minutes. Dad! I hate you! No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Everything okay? What's going on? Nothing. You got quite a set of pipes there. Yeah, I'm loud, so? Gotta yell at me too? Aw. Don't do it like that. Melissa! Hey. Yes. Looks like a rough job. Raising the kids, I mean. Oh, yes. Sometimes it is. I'm sorry you have to see that. Hold it. Nothing to apologize for, I think. Don't be sorry. Kids need to be kept in line, right? Well, yes, but I'd rather not be seen scolding my daughter in the public. It happens. What's your name? Oh, that. We have it. This is a bit after the fact, but let me introduce myself. I'm Kevin Woodward. I'm a surgeon at Robbins' mor 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 memorial. Oh no, Santa Monica. I don't like memorial. Nice name, buddy. I'm not jealous. Kyle Hyde. I'm a salesman for Red Crown. Kyle Hyde? Yeah. Kyle Hyde. Interesting. What now? 
What is it? You got a problem? No, 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 it's nothing. I just thought I heard your name before, that's all. Perhaps we met before? Nope, first time. Of course it is, of course. I'm sure my memory's just playing tricks on me. Please forgive me. By the way, Mr. Hyde, it seems you've spoken with my daughter Melissa on the previous occasions. Would you mind telling me what sort of conversations you had? Nothing special. I don't know! I don't want to make it wrong! We just chatted. Nothing specific. I see. I want to ask my name. Is it the six months ago? Do you know somebody with my name? No, I think one of my patients may have had a similar name, but... I'm sure my memory is just playing tricks on me. Yes, that must be it. After all, we just met for the first time, yes? I'm sorry for rambling. Maybe you excuse me? Maybe I screwed up already. But heck. My food! Wait a minute. What did Kevin say? It seems you've spoken with my daughter, Melissa, on previous occasions. Do you mind telling me what sort of conversations you had? What, what Kevin's so worried about? Do I need to go back? Do I? Okay, how about this room? Okay. Should I go back and load it? Food! <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa, Rosa! I mean, Bradley! What am I? Bradley. Oh, it's good evening, uh, sir. Welcome to the Moonlight Grill. I like this, sir. That's a nice touch. Hi! <laughs> Come on, brother. Don't hassle me. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> oh, man. You the host for this restaurant too? I told ya, Dunn's a total slave driver. Sun goes down and I gotta run this place. And the bar too. Anyway, we got a table ready. The night special is a big steak with some kind of weird garlic butter. I could go for a steak. That grub any good here? Better than Burn you think. Burn you think, okay. I can't do that. It's a very, very, very tight accent. Rose is an old windbag, but she knows which end of the spoon to use. Alright, I'll take the steak and some spuds and eggs too. Ash brown potatoes, eggs sunny side up. <laughs> Damn, sun's good, man! I'm hungry. Oh, wait, I gotta ask before I forget again. Anything wrong with your room? Wrong? Yeah, you know, lights don't work or the run water's messed up or what's whatever. Nope, everything's ex aces. Cool, good, good to hear. Some of the rooms on the second floor are messed up, you know. None didn't let anyone stay in them for six months now. What do you mean? Six months. There are a lot of vacancies? There are a lot of vacancies? Yeah. Four empties tonight. Three of them are too run down to use, but still. Which rooms? Let's see. 217. Again 217. 220 and 218. Three rooms that aren't being used, huh? Better write that down. 217, 218, 220. Oh god, I didn't write that. Follow. I'm here, pen. 218, 217, 220. Actually, I should be using that memo here. Mm, memo? Yeah. 217. Oh, I love the writing icon. 218 and 220. 
Ya jangan isi loka. Then the other one is apples. Oh god, this is a very bad mouse to use. Eh, try and write cursive. Not smart. Three, two, five. I should be looking out for these things. What you writing? Apples! So, where's the bar? <laughs> Straight down the hall, my man. Go for the seven star sign. Bar opens at night. Why don't you have a drink with me later? Depends. You got any decent bourbon? Yeah, booze is one thing Dunny don't skim on. That bar, my man, is well stocked. Got a whole bunch of Kentucky gentlemen to introduce you to. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. I ain't had a decent drinking buddy in forever, man. <laughs> Are you treating me, though? <laughs> so, room 17's on the fridge. Yeah, ain't been touched in six months or so. Really? Six months, huh? Seems like a long time to let a room sit there. What's wrong, down? What's going down? I know that room. That's where the guy with my name stayed. No way, man. How'd you find that out? I looked at the gas register. Yeah, I did? Ha! I broke into Dunny's office! <laughs> Ah man, you gotta be pulling my chain. You broke into the office. What you gonna do that thing like that? I think the guy with my name was Bradley. Get out of here. It's a hunch, but I think I'm right. Look, man, even if you're right, you can't just go running around hotel like your ass is on fire. Chasing clues is one thing. Mm -hmm. But this is crazy! You ain't a cop no more. You can't be picking locks and breaking doors and all that. If Dunham finds out, he's gonna totally trip out. Come on, man. You need to know anything but what happened here. Just ask me. You hear me, butter? I hear you. Alright. I got something for you. Get me into room 217. Huh? Want to poke around in there? Poke around? That's special lop line lingo. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. I'll see what I can do. Dunny keeps all the room keys locked up, so I gotta wait for the right time. But don't worry. There's one thing I know. It's boosting. It's boosting stuff from old people. <laughs> do it. Restaurants in the back, round the corner. One of the center tables is open. Go ahead and sit there. Right. I hope I just don't find a chicken there again. Okay. Right down to kitchen. Oh, that's where I was supposed to be earlier. The kitchen's too busy for chit chat. What are you thinking? You'll have to leave. Come on, get out. Go on. Alright. Sorry, I went to the wrong place, you know. The bar is beautiful. Oh, not you! I knew it! I knew it when I talked about you and I talk about you, you're just gonna be right there. Why? 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 Why are you there? <laughs> Why are you there? Out of all things, I don't want you there. What's the princess want now? <sighs> What is it? What's wrong? Oh, Mr. Hyde. You scared me. What, did they dreaming around? You never heard me coming, did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Something awful happened, and now I'm depressed. Yeah? You seem upset. <laughs> That's so rude. Depressed you. <laughs> What's wrong? Tell me, Mr. Hyde. Have you ever been hated by someone? Um, once or twice. Why? I can't believe what she said to me! She said she 
hated me. He told me to go away. Can you imagine it? I wouldn't imagine. Who said she hated you? Someone tell you they didn't like you? Yes, and I've never had that happen to me before. It was such a shock. It's an awful child's fault. I doubt I'll ever recover. I think we're talking about and Melissa now, nah, are we? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Just what I said. It's all that girl's fault. Did you see a young girl on your way here? You mean Melissa? <clears throat> you mean Melissa? Is that her name? Melissa? Yeah. What did girl and girl do to you? I merely spoke to her. That's all I did. You must believe me. <clears throat> and do you know what she said? She threw her rag doll at me and ran off. She threw a doll? <clears throat> so why'd she throw a doll at you? I'm sure I had no idea. Probably raised by wolves or hippies I like that. But I swear to you, I did nothing to provoke the little Helion. Helion. She had an adorable handmade doll and I just asked who made it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I didn't say anything that would be construed as rude or mean. That's why I was so surprised. I never had a child treat me like that before. <clears throat> never, huh? <laughs> I bet you hate kids. Oh no! <laughs> what? Oh, what is that? What's that? Blue bat? Oh no! No oh, man, you got a low bat. Wait, wait, wait. Sit down, sit down. <clears throat> just wait, just wait. I fixed the bat bat battery. I fixed the charger. <clears throat> Why say the battery? <laughs> Hold on. My daughter's phone is on the line. <clears throat> My nose. You're nuts. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Pardon? Stop lying to yourself, lady. Lying to myself? Never been an adult that's uh, never been an adult that some kids didn't hate. Mr. Hyde, I find you to be an ill-tempered brute. Uh, Excuse ya! Yeah. Uh, oh, I just walk in right there. Is that my table? Was that a doll? <clears throat> What's that? <clears throat> There's something on the chair. That's one creepy looking doll, actually. It looks like a snowman. This is... ANGEL! So this is it. This is the doll Iris was talking about. Now Alyssa must have forgotten. Yes, I'll run it up to her later. Might as well jot it down in my notebook so I don't forget. I won't write that, I remember that doll. Let's see, any numbers? Any hidden numbers? Ooh, that's a bottle of wine. Who is this reserved for? Hmm. Any stickers here? Or any numbers I should be finding? No, oh, dang it. <clears throat> I sit down at the table in the middle of the room. It's wrong. Guys like me get used to eating at all times, but I haven't had dinner this early in a long while. Sorry to keep you waiting, busy, 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 you know. Anyway, here's your ri rib eyes, oh, rib eyes steak, Mr. Hyde. And you also ordered hash browns and eggs sunny side up, right? 
Oh man, it's like a breakfast deluxe! I love it! This steak was seared with salt, pepper, and my own homemade garlic butter. It smells delicious, doesn't it? It sure does. Oh yeah. It doesn't mind at all. Enjoy! Rosa leaves, places my dinner on the table, and walks away. <laughs> I love that smile. There's a huge plate of there's a huge plate on the table. It's filled with chow. Those all look delicious. <coughs> Smells good. Mmm, tasty grub. You like it? Oh man, you finished it! Oh, that was fantastic. Are you finished? Oh. I'll take your plate now, if that's all right. Is it? I'm sure it is. Well, look at that. You joined the Clean Plate Club. <laughs> Not a grumbler. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. That was delicious. Oh, man, I love your smile. Well, isn't that nice to hear? It does my heart good to see a man eat. Oh, and this dessert is from Mr. Smith. It's his way of apologizing for the mix-up with your package. Oh man, I got a first-class deluxe food everything. It's another house specialty. Tea, chiffon, cake. Oh man, all the food. Sounds great. Smile at least. Take your time. No need to rush. Enjoy your food. And then you'll suddenly pop out of nowhere and take my plate. Eats a cake on the table and walks away. That's quite the cake. Then just out of nowhere again and kicks my plate. Damn, that's good. Mr. Hyde? Huh? Oh my god, that does <laughs> That's gonna be rough <laughs> again. Oh, it's summer. Betty wanted a bite of my cake. Sorry to interrupt your meal, but may I have a moment of your time? Sure, why not? I'm too full to run away. <laughs> er, yes, quite. Actually, it's about the mix up, the package mix up we had earlier. <clears throat> I was curious as to whether or not there was something else inside the box. Something other than the notebook, that is. Something else? Yes, something that you may have overlooked. Something small? It's possible it fell into the box during transport. It was supposed to have been placed with the pages of the notebook. Mr. Hyde, would you mind searching that box for me one last time? What am I looking for? Something small, like what? A uh, bookmark. Alright, oh, I forgot you had a little issue there with that bookmark. What kind of a bookmark? It's quite small and has a picture of an angel on it. Sounds lovely. <laughs> it is quite lovely. <laughs> it's a blue bookmark with a ribbon. Please do remember to look for it. Mr. Hyde? <clears throat> it was in that notebook. I saw the title on the front, the secret word, wasn't it? Is it a book or a manuscript or something like that? Mr. Hyde, did you see fit to read the contents of my notebook? I just looked at the cover. I'm not much of a reader. I just look at the cover. I see. That is for the best. What is this guy so worried about? My bookmark is in your hand. This my good man. Excuse me. Sure. Be rude as ever. And forget that bookmark. Free from talking blimps, one thing I don't need. <clears throat> I'll just drop a line in my notebooks so I don't forget. I should have read that thing then. Why are you suddenly pop out of it? Huh? How was the cake? Was it good? I sure hope so. It was fantastic, Rosa. Best meal I've had in ages. That's so nice to hear many things. <laughs> she reminds me of Mrs. Potts for some reason. By the way, the man who was just here is the guest in room 211, right, Mr. Summer? Yeah. <clears throat> Seems so familiar. 
I think he's a writer. He's some kind of writer. What? A writer? Yeah. Pretty famous too. At least in his own mind. Hold him. Martin Summer. Martin Summer. Oh, I'm such a fool. How could I have not realize? It's so obvious. What? What are you talking about? I saw his name on the register and recognized it, of course, but... I never thought it was THE Modern Summer. Hey, hey, hey. You know this guy? <coughs> what do you mean, THE Martin Summer? It really is him, now I'm sure of it. Martin Summer is staying here? The Martin Summer? Oh, this is exciting. I'm such a fan! Great! I still can't believe I didn't recognize him. I just assumed it was a guest with the same name. I tell you, I'm a world-class fool. Such a fool. Talk to me! <clears throat> you a fan of Summer? Oh, I'm not just cr I'm not crazy or anything, but yes, I enjoy his books. So what kind of writer is Summer, anyway? Well, his first book came out about 10 years ago and won some major awards. Publishers were very excited. They called him the Maestro of Ministries. You must have heard of his first book. It was called The Secret Word. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Secret Word? Secret Word, huh? Yeah, that's right. That was the title of his debut novel. The Secret Word. I know I've heard that name before. Wait. That was the written on the cover of the summer is that big. It was a very thrilling story. Toilet. What? Okay, very confusing, my daughter. That's it! What's it? I must get his autograph. <clears throat> there was a guest but a while back who had the same name as me, right? Wanna be me? Okay, hold on. Nikki needs to party. I believe daughter wanted a wee-wee. And she's dancing like in circles. Same name as you? About six months ago. <clears throat> six months ago? No, not that I remember. Nope, nope, nothing. I can't recall another guest by the name of Kyle High. Really? So, what's this secret word about? It's about a man who commits a perfect crime. He do he does so to get revenge on a friend who betrayed him. That's not like my story. Critics call it a gritty descent into the darkness of the human human cell. It's really quite shocking. Oh, listen to me, Rosa, the book reviewer. Revenge on a friend, huh? Hell of an idea. Oh, what am I thinking? I don't have time to stand here grabbing gabbing at you. I got to go, busy, busy. Okay, you're do. Any stickers around here or something? That's a nice piano. Piano, huh? Wonder if it's Dunning Tingles Diaries. If he plays the keys. Another sticker! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, knew it, knew it. I knew it, yeah. 23. Ow, 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 ow. One, two, three, four, five. So I only got five so far. Newspaper article in the hotel. Nothing useful here. There's a small bench in front of the piano. Too bad I don't play. Aw. It'd be cool if you could play. That's quite the amp. Amplifier! Where is there so many reserved tables? There's 
still some dishes on the table. All oh, right, I gotta give the doll back. Ow. Nobody there? Nobody there? Mila! Huh? It's Mila. What's she doing? Hungry? What's going on with her? She wanted to come in and give Rosa a hand in the kitchen, yeah? But Rosa said she'd just be in the way. Crazy old Rosa. Anyway, I was just trying to get her to go back down to Rosa's room. Okay. Yo, babe, it's cool that you want to be helping out and all, yeah? I dig ya. And I know Mama Sass feels the same. <laughs> But she's like really busy right now. Oh, don't look at me like that. You're breaking my heart, buddy. Baby. Come on, go to back to Rosa's room and hang out for a bit, please. Okay. Did Mila actually say anything? No, man. Not a peep. Maybe she can't speak after all. I think she can't talk, or she just don't wanna. I can't tell, man. Whole thing blew my mind. Who knows? She's a fox either way. Though I, she's a fox either way, though. Am I right? Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Got a minute. I'm working, man. Catch me later. Hey, hey, gee. Everyone hates me. Everyone don't like me. Everyone will be gone and dead. Huh? Is this there? That's me, though. What's she looking at? Apples! Looking at them apples. Oh, she's not there. What you looking at? Uh, were you staring at that painting? I don't get art. What's so special about this one? It's not that I don't like paintings. I just don't get it. So, this is where you want love to. I knew I'd find you somewhere. Is it Rosa? Someone's squawking out of some behind me. What's wrong, Mila? Don't look so sad, honey. <clears throat> Listen, Rosa is really happy that you want to help. I truly am. It's just that there's nothing for you to do at the moment. See? I'm used to doing everything around here by myself. No one helps with Rosa. So when someone actually wants to help, I have no idea how to use them. You're a good girl, Mila. Now do me a favor and go back to my room and rest. Rosa leaves Mila away. That was a quick chat. They just leave me out in an open. Give me dead ma. I don't know how to explain dead ma in Tagalog to English. Uh, yeah, that's dead ma. Anyone in here? Anybody? 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 Someone's coming down the stairs. Huh? Oh, it's Helen! <clears throat> Hello there, Mr. Hyde. What's with the eye patch, anyway? <clears throat> Have you already eaten? Oh, yeah. And how's the restaurant fare? I do hope it's tasty. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. 
which shocked me. Truly? Well, that's certainly a good news. By the way, Mr. Hyde, I have a bit of a favor to ask you. Can you spare a moment for this poor old woman? Uh, what? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind escorting me to the restaurant. Oh, sure, sure, I would love to escort you, an old lady, and I was in the foresight. I had some trouble with my legs recently, and I don't wish to fall in the way. Uh, I don't mean to impose, but I don't know who else to ask. Oh, maybe. It's a nice... Good, it's settled then. I'll just take your arm. <laughs> Poor old me. Which table that? Where's the guy? Let's walk slow and steady like a tortoise. Here you go. Thank you, thank you, young man. You're an angel. I think I'll be all right now. You are such a help, Mr. Hyde. Thank you so much. You're a true gentleman. Don't get me confused with somebody else, man. I just helped on the whim. Is that so? Well, either way, I'm grateful for the company. As you get on in years, you'll learn to appreciate simple acts of kindness. I know that. And I know that I do. Uh, fascinating. <laughs> Mr. Hyde, I'm afraid I have another favor to ask you. Would you mind seeing me again this evening? Wait a minute, are you asking me on a date? Seeing you? A bit of awkward phrasing, perhaps, but nothing to worry about, young man. I have a feeling you're the sort of fellow with whom I enjoy a nice drink. Oh, you're buying me drinks! Good, who wouldn't pass up on that? <clears throat> if the idea appeals, I'd like the opportunity to buy a glass of spirits. What do you say? I'm in! I'm in! I'm in! A drink, huh? Sure. I never turned on a free belt. Ah, such honesty. That's very refreshing, Mr. <laughs> There's a bar next to the restaurant called Seven Star. That work for you? And nicely, I'm sure. I'll be on my way then, Mr. Hyde. What time do I need to go to her? What time do I need to go to her? Woohoo, a free drink. Now what? Yo, hide! I hear someone behind me. Wonder who that could be. What's up, man? You here for some grub? No, no, I was just escorting someone to the restaurant. Escorting? What are you talking about? <clears throat> the old lady from 212. Her name's Helen. She asked me to help her get down here. Oh, check you out! How high the saver of <laughs> Shut your head, Louie. I just did the job for you. Right, thanks for the solid. Hey, check this, Hyde. Boost is up. Off the floor of the restaurant. It was right under your table, man. It's your pan, right? I mean, it was under your table right now. I found tin pan from Louie. Nope, not mine. Really? Figured that'd be yours, man. That's harsh. One who it belongs to. Look here, there are words in carved into the body of the pen. Oh, hey, right, my man. But it's worn down and all the ink's gone. I can't read it. I can't either. Lewis, Lewis, then no, no, I need your help right now. Get in here, chop, chop. Ah, <laughs> oh, great, Mama Sass is on my ass again. <laughs> Better go see what she wants now. Uh, thinking. Maybe that's what he was looking for. Maybe that was what he was looking for. That writer guy. Is there something on this side table? I think I copied that note down, didn't I? Nope, I only copied plus 23, not 25. Thank you. 
going. <clears throat> I better save here. Or else I'll screw up again everything. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it. Okay. Okay, we're cutting. If you enjoyed it and want to see the next part or see more of this. Just simply wave your wand and hit the like button and the subscribe button to watch out. <clears throat> Until then. Ah, this is not upside Bye bye. Don't say bye bye before I finish my set. Ads. I need to bye bye. Bye bye. <sighs> bye.